Hey, welcome to Too Many Gadgets. So the king of smart tracking bands have had a new update. This is the Mi Band 6. The Mi Band 5 for me was one of the best products in 2020 because if you look at the very affordable price and the amount of features you got, that was super impressive by Xiaomi. So I was really interested in seeing, you know, when I heard the news about that the 6 was coming, what we will get. So for those of you who already own a Mi Band and are keenly focused on getting, you know, the differences between the 5 and the 6, look at the time codes and you will find a section specifically talking about that one. For the rest of you who are uh, wanting to know everything about this watch and also the basics of the Mi Band ecosystem, just uh, yeah, hang on and I'll take you through A to Z. The 1.56 inch AMOLED display is the new big upgrade on the Mi Band 6. It weighs approximately 13 grams and the app will work with both iOS and Android. It's waterproof down to 50 meters and on the sensor side you get a 3-axis accelerometer and a 3-axis gyroscope. You get a heart rate monitor, a pedometer and a blood oxygen level monitor. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth 5.0 and it has a sleep monitoring system. On the battery side you get between 10 to 14 days of battery life and there are now 30 different exercise programs to choose from. I think this is a great looking watch slash activity band, call it what you want. So, you know, you can really set your own tone with this, given that you have a lot of options with the watch faces. And with the bigger display now, you have even more options to choose from in how you want the design and what information you want to show. And you also get a watch that's uh, very, let's say, easy to, to be around because you don't need to take it off if you go into the shower. You can wear it into the pool if you're on a vacation. It can really do a lot of things and it's and you don't have to be sort of very cautious about it, especially if you wear one of the silicone straps that comes with it, because again, that will make sure, you know, even though it rains or stuff like that, that the strap will not take damage or anything like that. There are a lot of different straps to choose from uh, and, you know, you can get also get some in cloth or, you know, aluminum or whatever you tickled your, your fancy. So lots to choose from and also to give it your personal flavor in coloring and stuff like that. I'm normally an Apple Watch user, and when you test out the Mi Band, you really get reminded of the battery life and how nice it is to have something that you don't need to charge every day. You get up to 14 days with the Mi Band, and again, having the Mi Band 5 in, the, in our house for like a year or so, we do know that that pretty much holds up, and testing this Mi Band 6 for a week now, I can see that that also uh, rings true for the Mi Band 6, that you do actually get very, very many days of use with the Mi Band 6, which is really a pleasure, especially also when you're traveling, that you don't have to be conscious about, you know, having uh, to charge your watch constantly, which is kind of a irritation when you are traveling. And again, I'm not perhaps have your regular charger set in one place. And you can easily take a week's vacation while bringing your charger with you with the Mi Band. Given the low price point, I would say that this is still a watch that's very uh, suitable for children. But do pay notice to the fact that given the physical dimensions of the band, I would not recommend this to children below the age of 10 because usually their wrist will not be big enough that it will sit tightly on their wrist. So again, pay attention to that if you are considering this and just, you know, perhaps measure your child's wrist. Uh, before you actually do the purchase because again for my own daughter she had to be around 11 12 before her wrist was big enough to to wear a watch like this comfortably this is not an always on watch so the way that works is that you uh, the watch will detect if you raise your wrist and then it will turn on the display for a short duration of time and will keep it on as long as it's it detects input to the display but if uh, no display uh, input is detected, it will just turn off after a couple of seconds. So besides the obvious uh, things that you usually get in a watch like this being, you know, it can measure the amount of steps you take every day, it can measure your heart rate, uh, you get weather information, stuff like that. You also have some other more, let's say, advanced functions to, uh, to choose from. 
So one of them being you can use the watch as a remote trigger device for your phone's camera if you want to take a picture and uh, yeah, use the, the watch as a remote trigger. You can control your music with it. And of course, caller ID and notifications are also two features that are really helpful. So uh, with the Mi Band 5 and the, the software there, I was, it was kind of limited, you know, the number of apps that supported passing on notifications to the watch. That list has greatly improved. And you also have now like an option to choose, let's say non-identified apps to pass along notification, which I have tested this week and it seems to work out fine. And the larger display really also comes into play here with the ability to have more information on the one screen, which helps out with text messages and stuff like that. Call ID is really helpful again when you get a call and your phone is not around and you can easily just screen, you know, if it's someone calling that you really yeah, want to prioritize and then go find your phone quickly. Or if it's someone, you know, that can wait till later. So call ID is really also a killer feature for this watch. So I won't go through all the menus of the watch, but just show you the main functionality. So one of the big things about this watch is the increased display, which will allow to show much more information when going through the menus. Like you're seeing here, I can see up to three display items at a time. The menu is really very similar to the Mi Band 5 or 4, if those of you are familiar with that. So nothing really new here. Pi is Mi's own sort of healthcare ecosystem where they try to collect all the data and sort of gather it to a healthcare indicator. As with the Mi Band 5, you get a heart rate monitoring system, so nothing new here. What is new is that you also have an SpO2 monitoring system, which can measure the blood oxygen level. There are now 30 uh, training exercise programs to choose from, which is an upgrade from the 11 we saw with the Mi Band 5. You can see incoming calls on your watch and you have the option to sort of disconnect an incoming call. Notifications are also fairly clear with the example here of a text message being sent to me. Now let's jump into the app. And starting out with the settings, we can go through the watch store where you have lots to choose from. And those are of course new and sort of accustomed to the now bigger display of the Mi Band 6. You can choose a lot of health monitoring settings and this also affects the battery life on the watch depending on how much you measure. In terms of notification, you of course have the option to have the watch vibrate when incoming calls are, are connected. And for apps, you can disconnect sort of notification for some specific app, but the list has really increased compared to what we saw earlier. You can get notifications if you have been sitting for too long and also of course notifications for text messages and emails. Like any other ecosystem, there are possibilities to set sort of goals for how much you want to exercise and stuff like that and you can get notifications about that. One cool feature is that you can actually make your own sort of vibration patterns for when notifications are coming so that it's easier for you to sort of tell different notifications apart without actually looking on the watch. This is a really cool feature. So you can of course define in which hours you want the watch to sort of turn on when you lift your wrist, so not to be disturbed during the night. In terms of shortcuts, you can sort of define which, one, uh, which ones you want uh, readily available and also the sort order of them. Same goes for workout, where you can sort of choose the ones you want in the list. 
removes the ones you don't use, and again, defines a sort order. You have the option to choose for the watch to lock itself if it detects that it's been removed from the wrist so that others can't look at your notifications. And of course, you can define which arm you have the watch sitting on. You can define event reminders, you have custom alarms to set and there are multiple to choose from, weather settings in which area you want the weather to be shown for, and of course the world clock if you want to use that. So one of the things that's really impressive about this watch is the sort of sleep monitoring system, which is way more advanced than what I'm seeing on my Apple Watch ecosystem. So the ability to actually detect not just how long you've slept, but the quality of sleep and how much deep sleep you've had is really something that's quite useful if you are trying to sort of help yourself getting better sleep. So let's talk about what you don't get with a watch like this or a band, call it what you want, compared to let's say more expensive watches like Android watches or the Apple watch. So one of the things is, like I've mentioned before, the always on feature. You don't get that with this watch. And this is, I think, a very specific design choice by Xiaomi for prolonging how many days this band can operate without needing to charge, being the 14 days and always on would of course shorten that duration a lot, um, I would guess. Another thing is that you can't sort of answer to notifications that you get. You can't answer a call. You can only see who's calling. That is something you get with more expensive watches, uh, the ability to actually react to notification and not just see them. The charger is custom, so don't lose it. Uh, at least they kept the same charger from the 5 series, but again, it is a custom charging solution. So you can't just use a USB-C, micro USB or key charger to, to charge it if, you, if you've got your own. You do need this specific charger for that watch. So the Mi Band 5 is on the right and the Mi Band 6 on the left. So you really see the increased display on the Mi Band 6 compared to the 5. Also, again, looking at the menu items, on the 5 you only see one menu item at a time, where on the 6 you can see up to three at a time. Also, look here at the example of showing the status on the watch. Just on the right again with the Mi Band 5 you see very little information, where on the Mi Band 6 you instantly see a lot more information at the same time. So it does really help out to have the increased canvas. So in conclusion, I still stand by the fact that Mi Band is the king of these activity bands. The price to performance, you know, is still great. I will say, you know, given that this watch will cost you $43, including shipping on AliExpress, and there's a link in the, the comments and description field if you want to take another look at it. That's slightly more expensive than the Mi Band 5. You do get, you know, the bigger display. You do get um, some more advanced sensors than on the 5. But I'm not blown away by the incremental changes that this more is than, you know, uh, the, the step from the Mi Band 4 to the Mi Band 5 for me was a, a bigger leap than I see the step from 5 to 6 is. So if you have a Mi Band 5, uh, I myself would probably not uh, pay the upgrade. If I had a fall, I would definitely go for the upgrade. I think you get a lot. But um, yeah, it's more on an incremen incremental update than you know big changes I see here for the Mi Band 6. It's a great watch. I do like that they have kept the physical dimensions sort of stable from the Series 5 so that you can reuse all the bands that you may have purchased for the, your Series 5 watch. And again, should you choose to buy the Mi Band 6, even though you have a 5, you can keep your 
uh, charging cable for the five. So you have two now and that's always helpful, you know, so you can have one at work and one at home perhaps and stuff like that. So you, yeah, you have more options, but uh, great watch, not blown away by it. Uh, you know, you can definitely, if you, uh, if you are considering uh, buying this and, uh, you know, you don't need the, the blood oxygen uh, measurement and are okay with the slightly smaller display, you can perhaps consider, you know, saving a few bucks and buy the Mi Band 5, which I will also link to in the, in the comments and description field. Don't know how long the Mi Band 5 will still be around for sale. So again, if this is something that you are considering, you should probably not wait too long because I'm guessing, you know, that it will go out of production some sometime soon. Hope you uh, found this useful. If you have any questions, as always, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.